Hello, everybody. I'm Silas Prime Seven, and with me is Pickles, uh, both of us of Low Energy Gaming. Hello. And we're back with another episode of Resident Evil Seven. Hopefully, the last one this time. Yep. So, should I start us off on this note? Sure, why not? All right. Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia and fung well the fungal filaments. The term organism is used loosely here, strictly speaking. They are superorganisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important, though, is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves fer- ferociously with the slightest, slightest provi- oh, God, I can't even see. provocation. Provocation, thank you. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them a significant battlefield potential. The rece- researchers have been calling these superorganisms the molded, made of mold and also molded as in shaped. Their name has a certain elegance to it. Hmm. For the treatment of accidental <clears throat> infections performing on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique fun- fungicidal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Whoa. Uh, that's what happened to our <laughs> wife. And daddy. And daddy. And Zoe. And Zoe. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. Oh, so we would have just killed our wife then. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to... (laughs) ...would enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming a compound we now call E. necrotoxin, which... (laughs) In every tiny, even tiny amount. (laughs) Right. (laughs) (laughs) What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior is her obsession with the concept of of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as the theme of her mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that family that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. Hmm. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing. A parent's love. <laughs> well, <clears throat> she's got to get the fuck over it. <laughs> Hey, not everybody was so loved in their upbringing. Flame rounds. Ooh, nice. Two of them. Neuro rounds. Ooh. Anything else in here? No? Okay. Take so, what you can get. Let's... Uh, let's... Put that away. Hey there, everybody. This is Silas Prime 7. <laughs> I want to apologize here because our commentary got scrambled. Apparently our hardware doesn't like lasting that long in one session, so we had to record a whole new set here. But stick around, watch it. You've been with us this long, why not just go to the end? Oh, I just pulled a fucking toenail off my small toe and it's bleeding and it hurts. Ah, that hurts. Oh my, oh my god, what did I do? Gross, gross. Okay. Sorry, you guys, but this is serious, like, real life stuff. My pinky toe is bleeding. Well, they ain't hearing about it yet, I'm... Starting a software. Well, well you should put it the on there because it's a serious business. <laughs> People want to know about my pinky toe bleeding. So if you pull, <sighs> apparently if you pull the nail too close to the skin. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, well, it needed to be pulled because it was starting to get weird. You know, your your small toe gets weird, like the nail gets weird. Put that on my toe. Put that on my toe. <laughs> Oh, 
I guess like, well, what is it? It's not a wipe. What is it? Ew. It's like gel. No, just put a wipe on it. Oh, it's a wipe. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just put that wipe on my toe. Oh, God. Okay, see my pinky toe? Yeah, put that on my toe. <laughs> oh, gross. It smells like vodka. <laughs> It smells like shitty vodka. <laughs> Here we go. Put that right there. Oh, God. Oh, oh that burns. Oh, that burns. Oh, that burns. Oh, that feels kind of good, though. Ooh, it's nice. It's like pouring iodine all over donut holes wounds. All right. Hold on, you guys. Just give me a sec. All right. I think it's good. I think, I think I'm okay. I think I'm going to live. I think the bleeding stopped. Nope, still bleeding. That's all right. I'll put my toe out in front of me. I won't put it on the couch. Okay, that's nice. Here we go. Have we started, by the way? Not yet. Oh. Well, why not? That's great commentary. <laughs> you know, my toe bleeding and everything. <laughs> oh, da, 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 da. That's a nice cut point. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my! Oh my God, that hurt! Just All give right, me, so just give me a second. Hello, Ooh. everybody. I'm Silas Prime Seven. Oh, I pressed alcohol into the the tender area of my toe. Of low energy gaming, and I'm, I'm here with oh, my friend burns. Pickles. Oh, it's so burned, so good. <laughs> no, it burns horribly. Actually, that's terrible. It's a terrible feeling. Actually, I can probably go without an introduction here because what? the video was already introduced. That's true. You're you're right. Here we are. We're we're doing this. Let's <laughs> just do it. Let's do it again. All right. Well, you got Albert O1R. That's all you need. Yep. We got this from well, from beating the game previously. So, but now you guys are involved to see exactly how we beat it this time. Well, we're going to beat it probably the same way, but... Most likely. Co you know, more colorful commentary as far as I'm concerned, because we were, we were pretty tired before, so... Oh, yeah. So tired. <laughs> My toe is still bleeding. <laughs> I have the cutest pinky toe, though. It's just kind of hanging out. Here it All is. All right. Let's see. Get that. Look at my pinky Get that. toe. Look at my pinky No. Toe. Come on. No, I'm not gonna. God damn it. <laughs> I'm playing the game. Well, don't, you don't have to look at it. Just oh. sing along with me. There we go. All right. Back into it. We're back into it. Are we back into it or back out of it? I'm not really sure. Either way, I'm using this gun. We never found out what the mag, how the powerful looks like the magnum is. It's like been coralized <clears throat> from, you know, coral. We never found out how powerful the magnum is, so I'm using this gun. Yeah, you may as well. Whoa! I still don't feel bad about not choosing our wife. Because I kind of, <clears throat> I really don't like Mia that much. People right. might like Mia. I don't really like Mia. She knew what we should get, she was getting into, and we didn't. All right, come out already. In the face. Oh, motherfucker. Damn! But just don't waste your bullets. Whoa! Ooh. Okay, well. That shot back now, a bit. Switch your guns, switch your guns, so you don't have to waste your bullets on this piece of shit. There you go. <laughs> All right, moving on. Look at my pinky toe. No. <laughs> Will you shut up about your pinky toe? Well, you know, ever since it started bleeding, I've <laughs> never seen how really how cute it is. I mean, it's a cute toe. <laughs> hey, look at how small it is. It's just sitting there wiggling around. No, I'm not looking <laughs> at your toe. Hey. 
still right. is bleeding though. I probably should ha -ha. put a band-aid on that or something. Ah, oh, whatever. Oh. Just bleed all over the couch, it's fine. I never got a band-aid for it. What do you want me to do? I don't know where your band-aids are. Alright, uh... Crap, I hope there's still shotgun ammo up here because... That's how I beat Meemaw previously. Oh, Meemaw. Any enemies around me? No, doesn't look like it. No enemies coming up on me. Okay, okay. Oh, back away, is. back away, back away. And boom! He's so desperate. <laughs> look how desperate he is to give you a hug. Let's get away from him a little bit, and... Look, look at him try to give you a hug. Just let him give you a hug, Silas. No. No. No hugs. Everybody needs a hug. Machine gun ammo. I don't need machine gun ammo. But you need a hug. I don't need a hug. <laughs> Alright, let's... I've never had a hard time opening a band-aid. There we go, there we go. Let's find out how this one does. What is that? Is that, is that your special handgun? That's the Albert. Oh, the Albert Whisker? <laughs> I mean, Albert Wesker? Albert Whisker was the name of my kid. <laughs> a long time ago. And I call when Albert Wesker shoves his hand through you some Albert Wesker special hugs. Well, Albert Wesker gives really special hugs. He's not the kind of hugs you Whoa. want, but... Jesus Christ! You're gonna get it. You're dead. He jumped at me so fast I couldn't even do anything. That's it. Well, now that we're on pause, we look at my toe? <coughs> <laughs> look at my toe. Look at my toe. Look at my little toe. Will you shut up about your toe? Uh-uh. Look. Look at it. It's dancing. <laughs> I didn't know I could do this with my foot. That's amazing. <laughs> look at it. Look at it. Look at my I'm toe. looking over here. Look at my toe. It's like every time I try to move my pinky toe, my big toe was like, oh no. Mm -mm, I'm front and center. And then my other three toes just don't want to go. Let's check out exactly how powerful this is. It can't be as much as the... Fucking Magnum. No, it's like a super powerful handgun, basically. Of course, your shots aren't on key, but it's fine. Oh shit! He uh, is really up goodness close. Goodness gracious! Kick his ass! Kick his ass, sea bass! Chicken bass! Chicken in bed. Chicken in bed. You put the chicken in the mess, it's a chicken in bed. Alright. Is that his regular handgun ammo? I think so. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> it has a silencer on it? Is Did, that what that is? Don't know about that. I just don't feel like it's that amazing for what it is, but it's okay. <laughs> Place that, because she's a creepy little girl. Oh, wait. Come on, come on, come along. Yeah, Evelyn's kind of a cunt. Nice shot. Two for one. Take it. So, we've played through this game. We've played five, or, well, I've played five, you've played five. Mm-hmm. Well, you just missed it. Go back. I know. I know where the crate is. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Now, if this were in third person, would you have enjoyed it more? Probably. Because I feel like... Oh, motherfucker. Oh. Go down. 
I feel like the horror experience would have been just the same if you had played third person, but the third person with the action sequences, like, you know, like the actual, like, gameplay, mm -hmm. would have been easier. Not easier, but smoother. I feel like the first person kind of takes away from the actual, like, you know, combat. Yeah. Give me that. And I'm not really sure what this whole, like, not showing Ethan's face is. It doesn't make any sense to me, but... If they're trying to keep that subtle, I'm not sure why. There. That was easy enough. Oh. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you, you keep missing. Right above his shoulder, too. There. Shit. Did you have any more detonators? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Not on me. <laughs> uh, let's see. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, do it, do it, do it. Detonate it. At least shit. You the ones behind you. There you go. Very nice. Okay. Now then. Let's move that up there. And move this up here to take care of these boxes that are up here. Shotgun shells. You reload your shotgun? Shotgun shells. Just a second here. There we go. Can fully reload my shotgun. Now then. <clears throat> we on our way up, baby. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Anybody else want a piece of me right now? No? Good. Hey, you'd be tough and stringy anyway. <laughs> okay, we're here. This shall require my greatest concentration ever. Oh, uh, well, one of them will get away. And there's one. Ow. Oh, shit. He's still alive. That's surprising. Yep. Ow. Will you just... Get that one right there. Ow. Okay, time to die. Hit him again. Go around this way. Jesus Christ. There. Well, okay, that works too. Let's move the knife back up and machine gun ammo, which I don't need, and shotgun shells. Uh, anything else I reload your use. handgun. You mean the Wesker? Yeah, you can. I thought it just took normal handgun bullets. It does. Well, you might as well reload it while you got it. All right. Keep the Wesker on. Uh... Use that herb to fully re fully heal. 
Uh, let's see, anything else I need to take care of? Doesn't look like it. Time to climb out of here. Those fat guys gave me more trouble than last time. They did a little bit. Last time I just had to use four remote charges. And they, and they were dead. Dead, dead, dead. Well, not this time, for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. Although one went one way and the other went the other way, so... You didn't get to get them, you know, two in one hit either, so... Yeah. We just have plenty of strong first aid meds. Yeah, it's not such a bad thing. All right. Let's save again, because why the hell not? All right, I'm ready for anything. Including this fucking room. And Meemaw's empty chair. And the porcelain doll. That was a bobblehead. Up. Oh, there's Mia again. Okay, Mia, settle down. All oh, right, that way is blocked off. This is gonna be annoying again, isn't it? Shit's gonna pop up, and I'm gonna defend, and it's gonna be like, hey, w would you just finish already? <clears throat> Our axe wife shoving us through a wall. This is your fault. Uh, no, no, I think it's your fault. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I think it's a lot of people's faults that, well, we don't have the availability to at the moment. <laughs> You know, namely, more or less, the Umbrella Corp, among others. Chauncey. The Ash, Cur Ash wait, was it? Ashcroft family. <laughs> Chauncey, yeah. Well. It's okay. It's oh, okay. God. It's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, Mommy. No, don't kill him, Mommy. But you shouldn't have done that! <sighs> this shit again. It It's not like you asked me. Seriously. Now it's mommy's turn to kill you. She tried. I think you're just a smelly bitch. And didn't we come here and we're like, oh, we don't have a lock pick because we couldn't get to that one lock that was in the kitchen? <laughs> yeah, but the lock in the kitchen is unable to be opened so anymore. Supposed to get to it. I don't know. That makes me sad. Because mm -hmm. I would, those, I was like, I just want to open the lock. <laughs> I just want to get into the unicorn treasure trail. Help. But no. Help who? Help me. I'm the one who needs help. You're dead. Okay, sure. I thought my wife was dead. Not that we didn't think she was for, like, the last three fucking years, but okay. Wait, what was that back there? Turn around and go to the right. What? Oh, it was just shiny. Okay, you're good. <laughs> just shiny. Shiny things that I think were things. Uh, I forget where I'm supposed to go here. Uh, I don't remember. I think you have to go outside. 
I'm pretty sure you go outside. The creepy baker family. Mm-mm. Just get the fuck out of this house. Oh wait, no, no. I remember where I'm supposed to go. To the attic? Yep, yep. I know I was just there, but I checked over here first. Ethan, help me. Mm. And no then I go back. Uh, ah! I don't need your pity. Jesus Christ, woman. that. <clears throat> Last time it was easy to see because I went into that area first and then went around to the other door. So she came at me from behind there. Well, it's that frustrating thing to say like, well, obviously Ethan's infected, <laughs> you know, because that was one of the symptoms with was hallucinations. Yep. <laughs> Goddamn creepy little girl. Well, if well, I don't want to. I'll play nicely if you play fair. Ha <laughs> no, Get that away from me! <gasps> Leave me to die! Yeah, it's not fair to... tell some... well, to make someone play a game and then... Well, and such, not tell them that they're playing a game. Yeah, but such are the rules of children. Uh, you know how children are. With their giant porcelain dolls. And the rules that don't exist. <laughs> Careless, caustic forms of, well, of rules of sorts. Ah. <laughs> Bitch, will you stop? Well, you're hallucinating. It's okay. Donut hole can hallucinate every now and again. And there's the girl. Get away! Uh uh uh. Say the magic word. Mm -mm -mm. No, no. There we go. And no. there we go. Get her in slitter throat. <laughs> or just inject a needle into her. That works too. And hey, it's Mimo. Well, maybe if you talk to him before trying to take over their brains. Yeah, we don't hate you. You're just a child, and you never really learn to be socially acceptable in all circumstances. <laughs> and she kind of. Okay, final boss fight. Not the knife, shotgun. Wait for her to show her face and... Ah, she's beautiful. Like a vision. She looks like something that should be like 3,000 leagues under the sea. <laughs> Bitch. No, you're not. Shit. Okay. I forgot exactly what happened when I played last time. All right. Show your face and... There we go, there we go. That's what we needed.
All right. Now then. Bring on the beast. What? Yeah, she's some weird fucking form of Uroboros, dude. Ouch. Ow. Will you stop that? No. <laughs> Okay, okay. It's... Everything's fine. Everything... Everything's fine. Get her in the gullet. Come on, come on. Yes! Oh, shit. That's a long fall. That's a broken rib or two. At least. Ah. Get her back in the piece. Come on, come on. Use it! Yeah, use it. Grab the gun and fucking use it. Oh, it's a different Albert. Ooh. All right, Play now let's for... see. Is she dead? There, she's dead. About goddamn time, too. And crumbling away. Thank goodness. So does that cure us, or what? Hmm. I don't think they ever, did they ever say it? No. Mm. Just that Evelyn is subject E001, but they had other test subjects, and they all died. True. Or at least most of them died. Oh, right. I'm Redfield. Which Redfield? Glad we found you. The Man, Pickles here. Don't think he's Chris Redfield. No, that's not Chris. Who the fuck would that be? Don't know. Because at this time in the game, like, he's not old enough to be Chris or... Claire's son? I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. Plus, is, isn't this Umbrella? Yeah. Shut up, me. I'm sick of your feet. <laughs> you lied to us. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> but that's still a waste of a phone. Yeah, it, yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't know why this is the bad ending. I like this ending. Closes, <laughs> another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. Many doors closed tonight. What a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and it I were like the only victims here. here. <laughs> so were the bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. Not really Chauncey. Chauncey kind of made himself and that way. Yeah. Mess. He was always kind of a sadistic bastard. Smart. I had just come but to terms with losing me yep. the first time. I mean, I've lost her again. He killed his childhood bully when he was a child. Yep. Locked him it's in close. the attic. Said it was starting to smell up there. Yeah. Dead bodies start to smell. Yep. What are you gonna do? 
What you gonna do when they come for you? Donut hole. <laughs> Donut hole. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> I think it sets itself up n very nicely for a sequel. Mm-hmm. But some questions are still very much unanswered, and I don't like the idea of them, like, giving... So, well, I, I like Silent Hill, and I like how they give you multiple endings. You could kind of believe what you want to believe, but... Resident Evil has always been very linear, where you can just, you know, follow the story. Mm -hmm. And I don't like the idea of them, like, splitting a story. But maybe that's the way it has to be, I don't know. Maybe. But at the same time, it kind of bothers me. I don't know. Because it seems like, depending on what ending you get, because apparently there's another ending you can get. That we're probably not going to go for. No. No. But you, can, you can do that. I mean, we chose to go with Zoe instead of our wife, so mm -hmm. go with your wife instead of Zoe. But mm -hmm. there's a couple endings, and there's a better ending, apparently. But, like... The endings are that dissimilar. It changes the fucking story completely, so. Yep. Uh. Which is very much different from how all the Resident Evils have pretty much been, so. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, we've already sought, sat through these credits, and there's nothing at the end there for everything, so. Except for our complaining. <laughs> Like, let me complain some more. <clears throat> Do you want to complain some more? I, well, I talked about my toe for the good ten minutes. <laughs> my toe still hurts. It's fine. No big deal. Nobody wants to hear about your toe. Uh, but it hurts. And I don't, don't rip a toenail off prematurely. I'm just going <laughs> to tell you that. So, yeah. Chauncey. Well, they never tell us what happens with Chauncey. Because he wasn't... He wasn't infected anymore. He wasn't. Well, as, as far as we know. <laughs> as far was, as he claimed. If he was, he could be, like, in pretty good control, so. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is more of a discussion of, like, how do you feel towards this Resident Evil, towards the other Resident Evils, because <laughs> it's quite a leap. It's, it's very different. Mm-hmm. I mean, well. The third, or the first person's very different. The story is not so dissimilar, maybe? It takes you into a place where you've got the infected, you're running for your life. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Well, my opinion is only based on Resident Evil 5 and parts of Resident Evil 4 that I watched my older brother play. Oh, that's right, you're a nub. <laughs> so I ain't, I don't have much experience with Resident Evil. But as a horror game, I'd say it did pretty well. No, it's pretty solid. I mean, mm -hmm. for what it is, it's solid. I uh, Like I said, I really feel like the first person was unnecessary. Yeah. I don't think it brought more horror to the genre. I think it made everything a little bit more irritating, mm -hmm. personally. Um, I'm just curious on whether they're going to keep the story the same, because, like I said, if they make a sequel and they've got multiple endings, are you going to proceed with those multiple endings? I mean, what are you going to do? Because it's very much... They have to choose one ending or the other. Yeah. So I'm not sure what they're going to do, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of that. And in terms of all the characters that we do love, you know, we've got mm -hmm. Chris and Claire Redfield, we've got Wesker, who's more or less, as far as we know, dead. Yeah. You know. Because he was dropped into a volcano. Yep. Bombs on top well, of him. as far as we know, I mean, we've got Leon Kennedy, we've got, you know, the other guys that are, I don't really give a shit about because they were in Six and I just don't give a shit about them. Because mm -hmm. Six was terrible, but, <laughs> you know... Uh, we've got Barry and... I mean, like, where are these characters? <laughs> are they going to come back? Are you going to actually make a game that's 
good with them instead of this weird, like, just all-out shooter? I, I don't know. Possibly. Possibly. I mean, I, I really don't know. I'm curious to see where it goes, but at the same time, I really hope they don't keep the first person. I think, like I said... When you need to escape, the <sighs> first person is annoying as all hell. Yeah, it's... Because you got to keep an eye on your enemy that you're escaping from. At the same time, you got know where you're escaping to and when you can't see in third person you can't tell if you're hit up against a wall or if there's an enemy behind you yeah I just well the, the thing with me is that I, I just don't see how it makes things scarier maybe mm -hmm. they did it because of VR possibly you know and that maybe that was the main thing but at the same time like the the movement would have been so much smoother the gameplay would have been so much smoother mm -hmm. in third person. Mm -hmm. You know, it would have stayed true to the actual genre of Resident Evil mm -hmm. without them having to, like, completely change things over, which was not necessary. You know, mm -hmm. they just need to get away from the fucking guns blazing garbage shithole they dug themselves into, you know? Mm -hmm. And they did. They they dug themselves out of that, and they, they proceeded to do it in a very good way. Mm -hmm. You know, I like the... I like the simplicity of what it is. You know, mm -hmm. I like, you know, people people complain about the lack of enemies, but at the same time, it was nice to have a goal. Like, mm -hmm. you knew who you were going to fight, you know, oh, more yeah. or less. You know, the sheer amount of, like, moss men was stupid because they weren't... They weren't standard enemies, you know. The, the yeah. zombies and all the Resident Evils were so easy. They were easy, but they were scary. Mm -hmm. Like, you never wanted to run into them, but you knew you could fucking kill them. Mm -hmm. You know, a few shots to the head done instead of, like, this moss men thing where they actually had reach. They had an, an availability to fucking kill you, and they, they spawned, which yep. was frustrating. You know, zombies, generally when you kill them in all the games, they're gone. You know, you, you yeah. don't really worry about them too much. Um, but they, and I mean, they were so bland. I mean, when well, they did come back, it was, it was very bland, you know, mm -hmm. it just kind of like, well, all right, sure. Well, the Moss Men were, well, for the most part, there was just a certain amount of Moss Men and, and once you killed them, they were taken care of, but, uh, you didn't always know how many there would be. No. and But they weren't easy as well. No. You know, if you yeah. weren't really good with the knife, if you didn't have a great aim, I mean, you know, they, they got tedious. They got really, really tedious. Yeah. You know, whereas, you know, zombies and all the other games were like, they were people, you know, you can yeah. expect them to be people and one off, <laughs> one shot. You know, you kill them, you kill them. Yeah. You know, I get in, um... God, what game was it? It must have been the remake of one where they had the... I don't remember what they called them, but you, when you killed zombies, if you didn't burn their bodies, they would come back. Mm. You know, So mm -hmm. they made it a little bit more difficult, which was kind of nice. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it was also tedious. Mm. Um, but it wasn't these you know, goopy, droopy, you know, yeah. shitty enemies that you're like, God, I'm just so fucking sick of fighting these enemies. At the same time, they're... There was also only four variations of them. Yeah. There was the regular, there was the strong-armed, there was the four-legged, and there was the fat man. Yep. And, uh, yeah, they could have stood to bring it down a... Yeah, well, Bring a the bit. difficulty down a bit, make a few more variations, that way... Or just one one standard variation that was easy to kill and have them a little bit more prevalent in the game and then have those other variations show up once in a great while, you yeah. know? That was the nice thing about the games is, you know, you, you can always expect enemies, mm -hmm. but you don't have to expect these enemies that were just, mm -hmm. you know, wasting your ammo if you're not great at it, you know? Mm -hmm. Because the people that are going to do that are going to play on hard, you know what I mean? Yeah. They're going to expect a challenge. They'll play on hard. But people that play on normal want a little bit of a challenge. They don't just want to run through the game. Mm -hmm. But they're not expecting this this crazy, you know, this mass, like, warfare kind yeah. of, you know, title to the game. 
they want a little bit of a challenge, but they want to run through the story too, so. I really loved when I got those remote bombs. Made ro- everything easier. The bombs were wonderful. <laughs> From what I was watching, I very much enjoyed the bombs myself. Needed made more. everything easier. They did. Plus, they were fun to watch them get blown up, so mm-hmm. you know. And allowed me to set little traps. Mm-hmm. All the other weapons, you couldn't set traps. No. You just had to fire and hope for the best. Now, speaking of traps, let me tell you something about the puzzles in this game. (laughs) The puzzles in this game were pathetic. Yeah. I mean, they weren't even close. Even to the original game, the second game, the third game, you know, they they weren't, (laughs) they were nothing. I mean, Mm -hmm. they were silly. Find a key, find a part, get back. Yeah, what's the point of that? I mean, just if you want to find keys, find keys, but don't Mm -hmm. add fucking puzzles to it. Mm -hmm. I think it's just kind of a kind of a cop out really (laughs) it feels to me if you're gonna put puzzles in it put fucking puzzles in it like i I really did feel like they tried to go a little bit more silent hill with the atmosphere a little Mm -hmm. more silent hill with just kind of a general overall look and feel of the Mm -hmm. game um in silent hill you could choose the puzzle experience so you could go on easy you know you could just Mm -hmm. go through the story if you wanted to and then it said, you know, if you want to do hard puzzles or medium puzzles, do that, and that's fine. Mm-hmm. But this was just so pathetic. Like, they're, I mean, just don't put them in. The so, most difficult puzzles were the shadow puzzles, and they weren't difficult at all. No, it just, it was unnecessary, mm-hmm. honestly, God. <laughs> Completely unnecessary. So take a word from advice from people that play your games. Like, make the puzzles puzzly. <laughs> <laughs> or you uh you can actually put an option in there to, for no puzzles if they want to play the game through on normal without puzzles combat wise sure do it but <laughs> you know all right whatever <laughs> sorry it's just just for my opinion <laughs> missed four files that's not terrible. Mm-hmm. I actually got half of all of the Mr. Everywheres because I f- saw that one. Yep, that's true. Last time I, well, last time when I beat it, I only had nine, but I saw the one in the... And we we did see a couple more. House. We just didn't go after them last time either. Yeah, because that would have been a waste of bullets. Yep. All right. 21 restarts. <laughs> well... You know, <laughs> that daddy part. Yeah. That really, until we've learned what the fuck to actually do, kind of set us up to fail. <laughs> yeah. Both daddy, well, the first and second daddy parts. Yeah. <laughs> the third daddy was easy. It seemed like he, you just had to run away. Just oh, yeah. Just stay out of his way and you're fine. Stay out of his way, just keep shooting the eyes and you're fine. Yeah. But the other ones actually had like, you know... Mm-hmm. Strategy. Get in the car. <laughs> Run him over with a car. Over and over again. Over and over again. Get the chainsaw. Duel. You know. <laughs> you know. Yeah. It it, it had sta- strategy where it, yeah the third one was just like shoot his, shoot his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and Marguerite was just. Marguerite was just a pain in the ass. Yeah. She was tedious. It was just. I shoot mean, her who, in the cunt, you know. Yeah, who would have thought just keep shooting her in the cunt? I just kept on shooting her in the face. We gotta get her right in her beehive, you yep. know. <laughs> right in the taint. Right in the taint. <laughs> we uh, only missed five coins, that's not terrible. Yep. Item box opened. Out of what? Hmm. No, okay. no, that's just how many times I opened the storage oh, box. Oh, gotcha. Okay. 39 healing items used. Well, yeah. I mean, they didn't make it easy. Three of those were in were the last fat guy. Yep. <laughs> you could just open as much as you would. Mm-hmm. All right. So, thank you all for watching. Thanks for listening to me, bitch. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe. Ask about my toe. 
and we'll see you in the next series. We're going to do Outlast, the original. So take it easy.